fighters off um, uh, Game of Thrones. What? <laughs> she does not look like Khaleesi. Like Khaleesi. Oh, listen, if she looked like Khaleesi, I'd be around there. Oh, wow. Maybe give that wig to your mum. You know oh. what? I thought I was my mum. He was walking around the whole house looking for me. And then I was her like... My mum fancies me, by the way. Let's just have it right. Yeah. Hello, Kimmy's mum. You're looking as fine as ever. Hey, you're a good cake maker. Oh my god, I forgot your accent's so different. What was that? <laughs> See? No. I didn't know what you said either. Ah, uh, she makes good cakes. Oh, oh cakes. yes. Cakes. Cakes. Right, idiots. Um uh, electricians unfiltered. So I only say this because I haven't eaten any tea yet. I don't I'm give hungry. a foot. What Kimmy, what are you doing? Right. Nick, I don't care about your tea. Go and get your food, eat it. No, I've ordered it. Oh, if you're, what is it? <laughs> I've ordered it. It's a little dessert shop. Um, to be fair, my other half has been ill. She's been ill for four days now. Since I come back from London, I was like, hi, uh, hi are you okay? And she just went, no. This no, has been she's... my dinner tonight. Oh, wow, well done. It's good influence on everyone. Um, but it, I know, it... you've asked me a question, shut up. I know, I would actually know if she's okay. Yeah. Oh no, she's all right. She's just she's got a bad stomach. But um, I thought, oh, I fancy something different. Kid, kid, my daughter came in earlier, where so I was me and Sam were on the phone. She said, "Oh, mommy says tea's ready." So I went downstairs. I said, "Oh, great, what's for tea?" She hadn't done me anything. She just made the kids a sandwich. I was like, <laughs> "Oh, okay." Um, but I've ordered a it's little dessert shop, so like a massive Belgium waffle with cookie dough in it with ice cream all over it. That's not dinner, this is, and this is why I'm getting fat. Um. This is why you Maybe need stop to... cutting out. I can't grow a beard. <laughs> this is oh. this is the best I've got. Uh, I need you to tie the chins. Um, I tell you what, Kimmy. Do you know who you look like with the with the hair tonight? With the well, it's frozen. She looks a bit like Billie Eilish. No, nah, Billie Eilish is busted. Kimmy's not busted. Nah. What do you mean? What's busted? Like Ki- Billie Eilish ain't attractive. Nah, no. Oh, sorry, Kim. Like, I, 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 like out of two, I'd give her one, but you know. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> this is what Unfiltered's about. I can say whatever I want on Unfiltered. Nick, what's it, now. Sam, what's the difference between a chickpea and a lentil? Don't know. What's the difference between a chickpea and a lentil? I've never seen a lentil pee on me before. I've <sighs> that. I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> my, my dad used to say, well, I've never I've never paid for a lentil to pee on me before, but rather than saying see. But my dad was a bad one. Um let's talk about uh what's going on this week. What what have you got to talk about? Who's got a me? subject? Yeah, go on, Nick. Well, I've been away all week, and I so Yeah, but so like what did you do when you was away? Uh, well, grafted our asses off. Um, like I said I, I genuinely had a really nice time. Kip obviously was there filming us, which was a very talk about strange experience. Because so, he's Kip. not an electrician, right? Hold on, Kip's not an electrician. Kip watches our channel. He's, I think he, I think we were speaking, I think he found either Naki first or me, and then it jumped across to everyone else. And so Kip me. has watched the stuff, he's always commented. And obviously, we've been in contact in the background saying he would can do recording and we were backwards and forwards and I said well I've got a job coming up I knew Kit was I knew Kit was from Essex so I went oh I'm working in London soon thinking it was like this close to each other but they're not so Kit was leaving his house at half five every morning to meet us on site for eight and then we introduced and it was oh no, I said this to him it's it's I've only ever spoke to him on the phone or on text and I had no idea if he was going to be weird or not do you know what I mean? I, we, I met up and I was like, and literally in the first five minutes, he was the soundest guy in the world. So funny. Um, got, so funny. Yeah, he's funny, he's witty. We had a great laugh. He fitted in really well with me and Adam. Can we, he would be great for you for doing some video content. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> is that is it, but, uh, is it actual P? <laughs> sorry, Kimmy. Yeah, you should you should get Kip to come do a few yeah, things definitely. for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've taken this week off because, you know, I've worked too hard over the weekend. But, yeah, so I'm going to just sort out these bits and bobs <laughs> and uh, reach out to, to people. Just Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like- he, he's creative with the ideas and, and he, he sent across tonight the first... Vi- we've done five videos, I think, in total. Um, but the creative of us... Like, I can do what I can do vlogging. It was no different to me talking to my own camera to Kip. It, it was just natural and fine, which was nice. But then he was like, right, you talk about that. And then 
we will redo the hand actions and we'll move closer to get a closer angle. He'll do some B-roll past his wall while Adam's chasing. It was those little cool things. He's added the music. We both, both mic'd up so you could hear us. And it was just a really enjoyable thing. Every morning, I'm like, mate, yep, Sam, we're going to get a drink, have a chat with the customer for five minutes and crack on. And then towards the end, I was like, there's a lot, a lot he could have recorded because it would just been duplications of every day. And he was there getting stuck in, passing his cable, things that had been a lot with Adam. It was good. I, had a, I, I was having, I think it was with EGW, we was having a bit of a, bit of a back and forward. And then Kip got involved somehow. Wait, and, is EGW the Orange Eddie guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, oh, I that, miss him. That guy. Anyway, um, and, and Kip got involved in, and Eddie asked him, like, what do you do? And he was like, oh, I'm a designer. And he goes, well, what would you feel like if this, this, and this? And he goes, actually, you're asking the wrong person because I actually don't really care about my job too much. I just like making content and stuff. And he's like, he's such a cool guy, so relaxed and, and, and laid back. We should get Kip on unfiltered. Mate, I've already said I offered it to him. Um, he was like, why, why would you want me on? I was like, because you're a nice guy and you've got a lot to chat He could come on unfiltered. He's got more electric 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 content on YouTube than I do. Like, he's got a couple of videos out exploring electrical things in his home and that. But, Kimmy, let's be fair. The reason I'm so confident that your content, like your channel, will never beat mine. Sam, you know I've had a shit week, yeah? I'm on the verge of crying and you just want to still bully me on this unfiltered. This is unfiltered. I'll tell you about yourself right now. Do it. I'm going to start crying. You already know. Kimmy, Kimmy, slight. Shall I, shall I make sure I put on my channel it next won't week help. to everyone to subscribe to you? And... It won't help. No, you know what? Let me put out a few more videos and then you can and then you can do that. But do you know what is for the meantime, I'm like, mate, look, I'm very sensitive. I've had a shit week, and here you are, like mugging me off. Like, fuck off, Sam. <laughs> Honestly. Sam, so be I nice. want to make content. I just want to have a good time. Like I'm stressed and I just want to create something. And you just like put me down before I even start. Like, why are you doing that? Why are you tripping me up? <laughs> Can we just say, right? Can we just say something, right? You called the challenge on, you told everyone to subscribe and you'll send a pair of your knickers. And also you told everyone to unsubscribe from Sam's channel. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was RCD that said that. No, you uh, said oh, was it? it? That was his and idea. And I was like, okay, well, and he said he'll give everybody 10% off loadout if they're unsubscribed. That wasn't me. Hey, listen, you can't play the game and then cry about it. Sorry, it's not a I'm thing. Not crying about it. I'm just saying, don't knock my content. That It's not even created yet. Listen, so I'll tell, tell you what I do. I'll tell you what I do to help. I'll tell you what I do to help. I'll send you one of these. Yeah, please. And that cheer you up. I know it will. YouTube is all about. I, I don't want you to get involved, man. I don't even watch YouTube. Honestly, I don't watch YouTube. I, I don't like YouTube. I don't watch it. What? What? No. I've only ever watched one artisan video where he was like softening up the cables with a cloth and he's like, oh, look, you make him warm and clean with this. I was like, that's a cool video. And then I've watched uh, one of Nick's videos that was like one. an old one. Yeah. And that's it. Honestly, I've never watched. You well, know you never I- watched one of mine? Um... You know you have because your mum watches mine all the time. Yeah, she does. But uh, do you know what? I don't. I don't watch YouTube videos. I don't watch music videos as well. So, like a lot of the, my favorite songs, I've never seen a music video for it. I just don't really like YouTube. So, me trying to make YouTube content is a bit new to me. So, I don't what, watch Kimmy. electrical stuff. I don't watch anything on YouTube. I don't have the attention span. She's That's what Sam's videos are like three minutes long. It's like fine. I'm more of an Instagram story kind of person. Every single person's Instagram stories I watch. The thing is, you should you should create your Instagram stories and just take double it across to YouTube. That's what. And that's you've what got your content that. there. I'm just gonna put yeah, it out. Shorts, shorts. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I said I'm gonna do, just to fill up the gaps. But um, yeah, I'm not really a YouTube kind of girl. So all these other YouTube guys, I've never watched them. So like, you talked about RCD. Um, Mike, I've never seen any of his YouTube videos. CD. <laughs> Residual That's current, me. yeah. That's right. me. That's me. I've always called him RCD and it's actually just... So, yeah, current. so all these YouTube YouTube people, I'm like, I don't really know who they are or what they do. So like... we can safely say Kimmy's on one this week. Craig, um, before Kimmy... <sighs> Before Kimmy explodes and kills me, um, I'm going to get a phone call after this. Why are you such a dickhead? Um, no, because you know, Sam, I, at the end of the day, I do love you off camera. Off camera, you're right. Just on camera, you come all like, put, 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 big chested and that. Like, you know, 
alpha male mode and then off camera you're like oh Kimmy I'm sorry I had to bully you in front of everybody but you know how we do <laughs> I've never seen this <laughs> yeah yeah you said that to me before as well yeah, you know what? I, I did get bullied by a tenant this 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 weekend. She was like trying to threaten me. She texted me. I told her at eight o'clock in the morning. I'm like, listen, her. I've been out all night. I'm going to, home to sleep. And she's like, sleep tight, Kimbo. I hope you can sleep well. No, you didn't do anything in my house. And I'm like, I'm an electrician. How do you want me to fix the roof? And she's she filed an official complaint. Did she call you Kimbo? Because that's what I call you. Yeah, I've got the text. I've got the text. She she, she said, um, sleep tight, Kimbo. And I was like, you what? What does that mean? And she was such a nice one. She was filing an official complaint that I didn't do anything because she said, I didn't fix her roof. And I'm like, it's three in the morning. It's raining. I'm an electrician. How do you want me to fix your roof? <sighs> she said, you like Kimbo. Good luck. I'm officially reporting you. Um, can I just quickly say something? Craig, have you got anything to add to this week's Unfiltered? I'm about taking back now. Mm. Tell me about, right, Craig, let's just quickly talk about this and we'll wrap it up. Mm -hmm. How many cars do you own, Craig? Your personal cars or company cars? No, no, don't talk shit. How many cars <laughs> that you've bought for yourself <laughs> do you own? Uh, 40 odd, 40 or 50. Right. And what do they consist of, Craig? Mainly Fords. And um, what type of Fords, Craig? Mainly Cosworths. So, how many Sierra Cosworths do you have, Craig? At least 12, 12 or 13. Oh. Well, actually, 14 now. We bought another one last week. Right. Do you think you've got a problem? 100%. Craig, <gasps> yes, Craig, Craig, do you have any... Um, is it Ford Fiesta Mark 1 or 2 with the pepper pot wheels? Yeah. So, I've got a Mark 1, but they don't come with pepper pots. They come with the RS. And the Mark 2 has come with the pepper pots, which I've got one of them as well. Because my, my other half's dream car, she she wanted one when she was growing up. And ever since that, she said, one day, and I said to her, one day I'll buy you one. But I've never been able to find one. I know one for sale. It's actually not far from you just now. A red one, a B Reg, and it's um, five or six grand. Craig, oh, now no. let's, just, let's just talk about your, your little problem <laughs> here, right? Your one fast, your fast yeah. food problem. Now, how I mean, they're not all mine. They're not all so there's, there's a few of us that's... It's part of a group. Uh, why? Um, Craig, did you or did you not send me a picture of, um, I think it's nine cars are like stacked up in a barn. Yeah. Um, and I say, where'd you keep them all? That's, that's a lot of oh, he's room, got a barn. It? He's got a barn with... Um, yeah, so it's a selection of nice Fords in the barn. So, right, if you could have any Ford, what one would it be? I would love a Lotus Cortina, but I just can't afford one. I can't, can't find one. Um, do you know the one I really like? Like, Nick, are you a car, you're not really a car guy, are you? No, I like the old Fords. Yeah, my the old guy I used to work with had a, a Ford F. It was a Ford Focus Estate. Uh, no, it was a Ford Transit. What was the old vans? The very first small like vans they did. Escort. It was a black, it was a black escort, escort van. Yeah, but it was the RS version, and no, the never existed. But I, yeah, there's a Fiesta van that's an XR2. But people used to get Ford Escorts vans and make them into like RS turbos. Yes. Or XR2. Yeah, that's what. And he had the. It was so loud and it was old and I was absolutely. As soon as I saw it, I just fell in love with it completely. His name was Gaz. He probably won't ever watch this but it was the coolest thing in the world and ever since that i was like i need to get one of them but now i've got a nice new ford so but the reality is the reality reality is craig old fools are shit they are, they are shit but they've got like a cult it's a bit like fucking tools to be honest mm. they're just people love them even though like they're, they're, they're off the chart at the moment they're off the chart like a mark one um S I, no, no, a Mark One, not Escort, a Mark One Fiesta that was yeah. five hundred quid fifteen years ago, is yeah. now twelve grand. No, well, when I used to have the garage, we we used to weigh in old Escorts for like forty or fifty pounds. Yeah, out for the night out on a Friday night, and are now going for forty, fifty, sixty grand. It's mental. Like the fast forward. Do you have like an open day for your farm where people can walk in and like just look at it? Nah. Or you just keep it for yourself? 
Yeah, this is the problem why sometimes I don't I don't actually showcase too much of it because A, not all of them belong to me fully. And C, there's gangs out there that will literally steal like, them. Oh really? Yeah, because and you've got them all on one little scaffold, so all they have to do is just get the uh, whole thing and but to get to get to where that barn is is difficult and nobody knows where it is. Um, okay. Another thing is, is like there's there's all sorts of different security on on the actual barn and on the cars. That... But this is like a lot like the Vatican with all their secret library and stuff. No, it's like... nothing like the Vatican. Do they think the thing like with your secret Ford? The thing with collection. cars right, is with old cars, you need to have the cash in it. You need to have a cash on you, either hard cash or money in the bank, because you can't get a loan and you can't no. get funding for them. Right, so it, there's obviously, without saying too much, there's only certain people that want to buy these, and I don't even know how, but I'm filtered here. So it really, like people with cash, sometimes like to get rid of the cash in certain ways, and cars is a tax-free way of doing this. And I mean, right. so that's, and the people that were into fast forwards are of a type of people back in the day that. Would have had them so, but like if you if you bought like a so my second car ever was an um was a Ford Fiesta S, which was the derivative of the XR2i. So yeah, yeah. it was everything the XR2i had, it, it just didn't have the kit on it, like the body kit it had a different type of body kit and it didn't have the injection, it was carburetor. Um but all those cars, one would rust, rust like Ford, old Fords are known for rust, and two, wheel bearings and shit like that go all of the time on Fords. Yeah, it's really bad. It is really bad. Um, but it's just the same as anything else. Old houses, like they always get more money than a new house, even though they're terrible inside. But I, I, one of my friends had just sold a Mitsubishi Evolution. I don't know if you remember them. Yeah, of course. An Evo, an Evo 6 Tommy Meekinen edition, number one, UK, low miles, and he sold it for £148,000. No! Yep. He paid fourteen and a half grand for it. What Evo a, was that? An Evo 6 Tommy Meekinen edition. No! £140,000. Mate, they was always dearer than the Subaru, but yeah. they was never that money. But it's because it's a UK one, and it's number one edition of 50. Um... So it's not an import. So 146,000. So he's made about 130 grand profit tax free. You can't, I mean, nice. you can't do that with property. Right. Nick's about to die of tiredness. Kimmy's about to die of boredness. Um, I'm about to die. I of know. Wait, look, let me just add something to the car. Do you know how much I know about cars? Was it two days ago? Something was scraping at the bottom of my car. I, I saw this. A bit. I took it out and I thought it was a part of my engine. Turns out it's someone oh, in that's... the thing mirror. That's was how that much I know about a... cars, mate. I literally thought it was part of my engine. Hmm? Is it one that off a Range Rover? No, it was a Volkswagen. Somebody said, look, if you look at that little thing, it says VW on it. And I was like, oh, I just thought it was like, I didn't even know what it was. Yeah, I just thought it was a part of my engine. And it turns out it, it was somebody else's wing mirror somehow. But me and Kimmy have got a claim to fame. We both lost cars. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that as well. Yeah, you know what? I found it. I found it. And you know what? It was so crazy. Do you know I couldn't get it started because I couldn't get inside the car because it wouldn't unlock because the thing got rusty to put the key in. And um, what happened is I couldn't jumpstart it because I couldn't get inside to open it. But then do you know what? Somebody told me, oh, you know the Ford bonnet thing? You have to put the key in into the bonnet thing itself, so you don't have to get in the car to open it. If that makes yeah. sense, yeah. I didn't know that. So apparently, all that time I could have jump started it. So I told I told the guy, listen, if you can jump start, you can take the car. So he did, but he took all my stuff with him. So my shoes, my handbags, everything that was in the car, he drove off with it. Never seen him since. So, well, that's uh, that. So I might have found what happened to my car. So I went to I went uh, to visit a friend of mine, uh, Martin. He used to own a gym in Croydon. It was like the it's like the hub of all crime in Croydon, and he owned it. Um, and one day, I couldn't afford tax insurance or something. I weren't working. It was back in the day before I was even a spark. I said, "I've got to park it at a gym. I've got to get it off the road." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, no worries. Park it down in the gym." And I think I left it there for like six months. 
Um, and apparently he had it scrapped. Um, so that's what happened to my car that I lost. Cool story. I'm going to go now. Take care now. Bye bye. I've it. It's worst unfiltered <laughs> of all time. We're out. I wasn't actually ready for the unfiltered. I forgot it was actually going to happen. It's all right. All right, we're out. Have a lovely one. Next week. I mean, get me well done for working hard this